Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. And Hans. <laughs> well, who's this we have? This is our friend Hans, and we are on location in North Carolina. Wow. What are we doing here? <laughs> well, we are enjoying some southern hospitality. That's for we sure. We just had an incredible luncheon with Hans and some other wonderful friends, and we're just celebrating being down here, and... Um, Hans and I are friends who we've been friends for a long time, but we've never met until today. Till today. So we are part of a great community called Automatic Washer, and and we celebrate our love and passion for vintage appliances. And Hans as you has can see. Hans has a really cool vintage uh, what year kitchen. Is this, Hans? It's a 48. 48 Calvinator. Wow. And so we are doing. Uh, he did some serious cooking on this. Uh, for our luncheon, and now it was a feast. He's fixing to make uh, a pound cake. We're going to make a pound cake with adlu flour, a adlu. southern flour that is a tradition around Columbia, South Carolina. Is that where they mill it? That's where they make it. Okay, so what do we start with? We are starting with two sticks or one cup of butter. Okay. My, the recipe calls for margarine, but I'm using butter. More butter, more better. One half cup of shortening. Mm-hmm. Or Crisco, whichever. Now that butter is it has been out it's for a while, so it's nice and soft. The milk, everything is room temperature. Check out that mixer there, Ralph. Oh, this is a cool 56 is... Kenmore. Isn't that beautiful? There's a lot of great mixers in this house. Yeah. <laughs> Bring the butter wheel. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that spit. Come in here and see how beautiful that's coming together, Ralph. Isn't that great? Yeah, I've never seen one like that. Now, now we talk about creaming, right, when we do our... We're going to add three cups of sugar. We put our, 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 our fat and our sugar together and we cream it together. So to that we're adding three cups of sugar. One. Where he is. I'm not doing anything but standing here. Well, you're giving us a little narration to... Actually, you're doing what I normally do. <laughs> Three. Mm, Boy, that's that's gonna be, quiet. That's oh. going to be a, some sweet Snap. bread. Or, the, the deal with a pound cake, you pound can't cake. overdo this. You can't you, over mix you it. You cannot overdo this right here. You can mix this ten minutes at high speed if you want to. We're not going to do that for the essence of time, but it won't take that long with this mixer because it really does do pretty well. Consumer Reports rated this number one in 56 because it, it, the beaters are so close to the edge of the bowl. Uh -huh. And it, uh, they really you are. They really are. You don't have to do as much scraping. Now, I think a lot of people are familiar with like the old Sunbeam Mix Master. Very similar to a Mix Master. But a lot of other companies made mixers besides Sunbeam at that yeah. time. Hamilton Beach, Stormire, uh, very, a lot of companies. And he's got them all. I've got that all of them. I have broken six eggs. I did them three at a time. I'm going to add them a little one at a time the best I can. It's no big deal if you get more than one. But You're dropping them one at a time. Dropping one there. at a time at a fairly high speed. Got two or, that time. Or two at a time. No, right. no big deal. And I'll scrape a little bit in between. So kind of help it along a little bit, just make sure yeah, it all gets mixed in. Mix little, make sure it gets mixed in. You know, as we've been spending time in West Virginia and now North Carolina, um, not only is it just a beautiful part of the country, but we've met so many nice people, I can't even tell you how wonderful it's been. And well, pound I'm cake really is, I think, while we have pound cake in Michigan, it seems to really be more of a staple of it's the South. Pound cake, biscuits, that type of thing, yeah. you see that every day. Oh, we have some good biscuits today, too. Thank you, Hans. Okay, so our six eggs are in now. Six eggs are in. We're going to let it whip up pretty well. I don't like to beat it till it's just completely liquid because it can go flat. Yeah, that way you'll still have some body to this it. That way you'll still have some yeah. body, what I'm doing now. And you don't have to turn the bowl back, because I just 
do that to now I know that on a mix master sometimes the bowl will almost spin on its own. This will. There you go. From it the, has a button on the bottom of the feeder. On the one on the outside. If you around the Sunbeam's pattern, this was metal and theirs was, was uh, a nylon. Uh-huh. Look at that, that, Ralph. Isn't that great? That's very and cool. And that's about where we want it. We turn our speed down to fairly slow. Okay. Start with flour. Now what, how much flour do you have there, Hans? I have three cups of plain all-purpose flour, one cup of self-rising flour. Okay. And I saw him sifting the flour before we I got started. I sifted it before here. I measured it, that's correct, and then I sifted it again. So you're going to add the, so you're doing a little bit of flour. A little flour. A little more flour. Okay. Is this an old-time recipe that you picked up? or flour came off the Ad Lou flour bag. Uh, the recipe itself is something that's yeah. probably been around a long time. What do you got in the, uh, what's in the measuring cup there? That is evaporated milk. Okay. Well, I use that all the time. All right, so like pet milk that's or pet, carnation. That is pet, that is pet brand milk. Okay. And is the oven preheating at the this time? The oven is preheating at 325. 325. So you see what he's doing, Ralph? He's alternating the dry and the wet. Right. He's putting in a little bit at a time. A little of the flour, so a little coffee. of the milk. And you're okay. going to end with the flour. Is that I'm right? end with the flour. While it's mixing about now, I'm going to add the flavor. So he's got Ooh. some vanilla there. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And don't buy the imitation stuff. It Get the real pure, thing. The yeah. real is much better. It does make a difference, yeah. Now what's this here? This is lemon. And Hermes. And I use oh. a tablespoon. Now, could you, if you didn't want a lemon pound cake, you could you omit that? Or omit it, you can use almond. I've made peppermint oh, yeah. with nothing but peppermint flavoring. So that's nice. Um, so you could take this cake in whatever direction you want. You can add a half cup of cocoa and make chocolate. Mm -hmm. So, so in, there's the last of the flour. There's the last, the last of the flour. Okay. okay. See, a pound cake doesn't take long. People think it takes a long time. It really does not. It's it actually a very straightforward recipe. It's very straightforward. If you overdo it at this point, you can mess it up. You mean overdo it with the beating? Yeah, you can. If you beat it too much, it, it gets flat because yeah, it gets liquidy. Kind of liquidy. Mm -hmm. Now, I will turn it up for just a minute or two at the very end here. Just, just to make sure it's all integrated in yeah, there. Yeah, and you see how Hans is scraping the bowl, making sure all that flour on the side gets kind of incorporated in. That's just you see, it's blended pretty well. Now, I'm going to turn it up just a minute. Wow. Ooh, that mixture does a nice job. See how, see how it rises yeah. up in the bowl? Yeah. So just a little bit at the end at a higher speed to make sure it's all mixed in. Got it. And that's it. Okay. Now, we have our pan that is greased in flour. Okay, so is that what, 10 inch tube pan? 10 inch, wherever, 1952 pan. Okay. As with Beautiful. everything else. Sears had a handle on their bowl. It is a little bit better. Oh, I see. Okay. To work oh, yeah. with. Like you can go ahead and get in there, Ralph. You can see how. Turn this. I'll be an extra set of hands. That's I can good. Do, be of some use here. Well, it looks so. Just the batter, it looks so creamy. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little About. Mills Brothers. Yeah, Hans also has a, a wonderful record collection in stereo. So, so we didn't have to go without music. Yeah, it's actually I think the Ames oh, Brothers. Oh, the Ames Brothers. Yeah. Don't go without music here. Yeah. And they're playing on a '65 General Electric. Wow. That's we are. It. I'll live without a little bit there. Okay. Just a little. In our environment, aren't we, Kevin? Yeah. This is great. So you just kind of smooth it out a little bit. You don't have to, but I do. Now, Hans, I noticed that there was no, um, okay, to put it in the oven on the center rack. How long does that bake? About an hour and 20, 25 minutes. Okay. We'll see exactly how long it takes, but usually it's about an hour and 25 minutes. We'll set our trusty maid of honor timer for an hour, and we'll see what comes out. Okay, we'll be back when it comes out of the oven. You know who, who made that for him? I think it's a Burton product. One, no, 110. No, 
Yeah, one one oh. That would be a Burton. What is it we're looking at? This is the first hand portable hand mixer Sears ever made. Look, that was there's the beater right there. That's it. That's oh. all there is. That's all there is. And look, look, at the, look at the plastic on that. One speed. Isn't that something? That's something. Isn't you that wouldn't good? want to try to make a delicate cake with it. I know you. Yeah, feel it. <laughs> That's it. Look at it's like an electric razor. <laughs> <laughs> That's really there cool. That's really cool. Well, I heard, different, isn't it? I heard a buzzer go off. Okay. Okay, Hans has got the coffee perkin. And, uh, oh, does it smell good in here? Yes, it does. And our cake is ready. And we, how long did you have that About in? About an uh, hour and a half. About an hour and a half. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, there it is. How beautiful is that? And boy, much larger, and you would have needed a bigger pan. So there's mm -hmm. proof that the Kelvinator baits well. And it sure does. Now we're going to see if we can turn it out. I'll let you, here Ralph, I'll let you get in with the, see how he's going around the edge there? Yep, like you do with the thin knife yep. to separate mm -hmm. it. Now this is where I always have a challenge, it's uh -huh. in that this center be part. Kind of a challenge. But look how beautiful that crust is. Now, the, the uh, cakes coming out of a two pan like this, you kind of have to do a double flip. Isn't That's that right, right, Hans? That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so see. So I take a regular plate, I turn it. Yep. Like that. Oh, that's perfect on there. I take my flip it and then I grab this. Okay. Carefully lift it. Oh up. my. And I put this on here and <laughs> there's our. Clip. Look at that. And there's the well, Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can smell the lemon. Smell the lemon. You can smell the butter. Look how pretty. And that I is. also like Hans has got a little trick here he puts a piece of wax paper down I didn't, this never occurred to me so that as the cake cools you know sometimes it'll stick to the tines of the you can, of you the can rack. and what you can do is when you lift it off here take your scissors and trim that off and then just put it in your cake cooler and when you cut a piece then it will come loose something my that's grandmother a, did well oh, your grandmother had a great idea that's a good that recipe does well but that extra cup of self-rising flour makes it lighter and it, it fluffs up oh, well because we were talking that i'm sorry ralph that there wasn't any uh you know baking nope. soda or powder but then hans reminded me that the flour mix also included some self-rising flour which has the leaveners in it yeah and you can smell the butter and the lemon and it just really oh. makes the whole home have this wonderful old-fashioned smell yeah that is beautiful to go with this beautiful kitchen uh okay so i'm very glad you got to come and cook well i am too and this was time a time pleasure we sure did it's we not over yet though we're going to cut into it and have some coffee too oh, okay we got the coffee perkin the coffee is perfect but what is this, this cool old coffee fun. maker this is a uh what kind is a this silent citation all right. Well, when that's ready, we'll uh, this pour is some called coffee. dinner and a show. So we yeah, are yeah. getting ready. Thank you, Hans. He's pouring it. Look at that beautiful coffee. It smells so good. Thank you. So oh. we're going to have ourselves a nice cup of coffee, and we're going to get into this pound cake. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. wow he brought out the beautiful. saw. <laughs> that is beautiful. And see how easy it comes off with the look at that, that uh, there you go. wax paper down there. Oh, look at that. look at the color of that. And the break on the top. Let's let our now it looks try. good. It did pretty well. It did pretty well. So yeah, go ahead. You try it. We got a hungry mob over waiting. Time. That work? That'll work. This is a plus. This is the real sense. deal. A plus. It's lemon, light lemon, and butter. That's what you're really tasting with this. You know, I love it just like this. I know a lot of people put stuff on their pound you can cake. Put a glaze on but, it. Or people serve it with ice cream or fruit. I'm with you. This is beautiful. Oh, you northerners. <laughs> That's so, Hans, I can't thank you enough. I'm very glad you came. Had a good time. Letting us cook with you in your beautiful North Carolina kitchen. 
on your new Calvinator range. We had a great time doing this in this just wonderful kitchen that celebrates all these great wonderful appliances and uh, this has just been a great great trip so thank you all for being a part of this one thank you Ralph for helping out <laughs> and most of all thank you Hans for doing all the work this time around and you know what we'll see you all next time right on here on Cavalcade of Food. Food bye now bye, bye. all right